Thousands of years deep under the sand, all peeled back to reveal this, an ancient Egyptian tomb and its eternal inhabitants. I'm Ben Wiedemann with you about 23 feet beneath the barren hills of Dara Abul Naga in southern Egypt. The journey begins at this unassuming doorway cut into the chalky rock. Egyptian archaeologists have just recently discovered this tomb. You and I are some of the first members of the public to see it. Ducking inside, you find the first chamber. Look closely. You can still make out hieroglyphs and paintings on the walls. In front of you, the first clue to discovering who was buried below, a statue. The figures are husband and wife. A plaque identifies the man as a goldsmith. They lived during the Middle Kingdom period in ancient Egypt, almost three and a half thousand years ago. Look to your right. That dark hole is where we're headed. Above you, two aluminum ladders stacked on top of each other and tied with a rope. When local workers arrived here, all of this was filled with sand. By hand, they painstakingly brushed it away. Among their discoveries, these three mummies. They may be the bodies of the goldsmith and his wife, or potentially later additions who reused the tomb. To your right, a man uses his syringe to inject glue into this wooden coffin. All around this area, these men found ushabtis, small statuettes meant to be servants in the afterlife. Now let's move to the coffin behind me. At only a few feet high, the ceiling means you have to stoop to move about. If you bump the ceiling, rock will crumble, a reminder of just how delicate this ancient place really is. There isn't much air either, and the heat? Oppressive. But these men are used to it. Many of them come from generations of archaeological workers. They didn't go to university, but their skills, patience, and delicate touch are invaluable in this kind of work. These men aren't the first living souls to be here since ancient times. Grave robbers looted the tomb for precious objects. Here they cast aside bones as they worked. Still, the man on the left has just found a comb or brush buried here. It's a reminder that the work here is far from finished. Authorities are convinced they've only just scratched the surface here at Dara Abu Naga. For now, we at least will leave the dead in peace. I'm Ben Wiedemann in southern Egypt, and this is CNN in virtual reality.